Amazing Progress Motobot. Upon achieving the target lap time, the first journey was to have Motobot autonomously follow the target path. Motobot decides by itself how it follows the target path. If Motobot deviates from the target path, it will calculate the modified path and bank angle. That is necessary to follow the modified path and then operate the steering to realize that bank angle. Since Motobot runs autonomously at the range of speed from 15 kph to 200 kph, it was a big challenge for us to make it possible for Motobot to follow the target path stably over such a wide speed range. We developed the path following control logic by running countless rounds of the simulation as well as actual running tests. In addition to this, uh, in order to follow the target path, it is necessary for Motobot to recognize its current position precisely. Since updated frequency and accuracy of GPS is not enough for our purpose, we developed the algorithm to estimate the position with an accuracy of 2.5 cm using various sensors such as IMU in addition to the GPS. Once Motobot was able to follow the target path, the second challenge was to maximize the speed while maintaining the stability. This involved dynamically controlling the acceleration opening angle, gear shift, and braking, while taking factors such as air resistance and engine brake into account. In order for Motobot to run stably over such a wide speed range, there are many challenges to overcome. We developed the speed control logic by referring to the riding data and advice from the professional rider as well as simulation and actual running tests. Unlike human beings, another key feature of Motobot is its ability to operate multiple actuators, individually and with precision. For example, when running on a straight and then needing to bank to enter a corner, a human would throttle down a begin braking and then grab the clutch lever. At around the same time, they need to shift down, release the clutch lever, start to bank the pickle, and gradually open the throttle while also braking to control the speed to complete the cornering. This all happens instantly. Without training, focusing 100% on each of these multiple actions is difficult for humans. However, Motobot can focus 100% on each of them and operate this action in about 0.6 seconds. Through the aggregation of these elements, by providing only a target line and speed, Motobot can run autonomously. Motobot may be said to act in the same way as a human test rider. Depending on the situation, Motobot can achieve better results than a human. Also, given the unique approach of robots, we may come to see dramatic leaps in evolution. When I saw the video, I couldn't believe it. I still don't believe it. A robot riding an R1. Who is that? Ciao, ciao, Motobot. You're okay? <laughs> so he, he actually, actually knows how to ride by itself? That's right. The R1 itself is unmodified, since the goal of the project is to have Motobot ride the bike without making any changes to it. So it's actually clever, the Motobot, eh? Motobot uses various sensors to detect its surroundings and current conditions to tear and ride by itself. So it does all the thinking and the actions on its own, from braking and gear shift to throttle work. We've reached the stage of development for taking this guy to a race track. So it can already ride on the track? Yes. 
We are currently working on making the unit outrigger deployable so that motorboat can take deeper lean angle when cornering. We are working hard to make motorboat capable of riding at over 200 km per hour on a truck by 2017. I can't wait to see. Motorboat is being developed to challenge you. If you are willing to accept our challenge, could you please leave us your signature? Sure, I'm looking forward to it. Hmm? Right here is okay? Yes, please. Hey, how about uh, I help you guys uh, out by doing some lap? Really? Yes, for sure. I think that the data might help you in your work. Okay, ready? Hey, Motobot, it's better you watch carefully. Maybe take some notes, eh? And 
Finally, the day has come. second that ticks, the number of decisions to make is infinite. So how do human minds find the right ones so quickly? If I can learn more about you, perhaps I will someday catch up to you. Amazing progress, Motobot. I hope there is more to come.